Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to see another video from Puppeteer. I know this has been a long time since we had done this Puppeteer video. So, we will jumble the playlist and we will create videos so that each and every playlist will be proper. Guys, in this uh, video we are going to discuss get attribute value. So without any further ado, let us start the video. It is quite similar to get text from element. We are going to take the text of an element, but in this we are going to find an attribute. For example, this was my page created long back, right? So if I want to get the attribute, this one name of this input text element. If I hover it, you can see which one is getting highlighted. If I want to get this name, f name, I want to pass, I want to get this value. If I pass name, I should get f name. So let's see the program. For this, guys, let me copy the same code of get text from element. We'll do few modifications. Here I'll write get attribute value, get attribute a value from element. I can do the same thing. So I will not use this code. So getting text. Up to this, everything is same. So now, so wait for timeout. I'll put let's say two seconds. That will be enough. So only thing I have to do, guys, here. So I have to take a value, constant value, or maybe I can write let value. So the this value will have will be having the value of an attribute, any attribute if you want. So we can pass this as a dynamic and uh, we can create a different function and we can pass the attribute name so that we can get an attribute value for this um, video. I will not be passing it dynamically. So I'll put page dot. We can get evaluate. So this method I'll be using in this I'll be using two things. So this is basically an arrow function I'm using. We can use um, page dot evaluate page item. We can also pass this as a traditional function here, but I'll be using this one page item and add trip. So arrow function I'll be using. I'll write page item dot here. I'll put get attribute, get attribute. And here I'll be passing the value attribute, right? So this is what you're passing. And I have to pass the element which we want to find. You can see page function um, arguments we can pass. Now your argument will be the element. Before that, I have to create an element. Okay. So now, so let me copy. I don't need this. So I would have used somewhere input. Also oh, interact text box. So I need this element. Instead of Q, we'll write some other value. So I need this element. Now name Q. I I have created uniquely so id f name will work so i'll write id as f name so here we'll pass that ele -E value and also we'll pass the attribute which we want to find so let's say i want the attribute name right i can pass the attribute text also we'll see one by one so if i pass name first we'll see positive scenario I'll put console.log and I need the value. So I'll be printing the value here. After that, I'll be closing the browser. So I'll go to package.json. I have already added get attribute value to JS. Now what I'll do, I'll put npm test. Now this will execute my program. So get attribute for the element. It will be a little bit fast. Now we got f name which we have described here. So now let us see for a different scenario. So let us type, give me the type type. Okay. Let me save this. Now clear the screen. Now run it again. So it is literally fast because I gave time of two seconds. It will take, it is taking time. So I got text. What if I give some other va value, right? This is the attribute doesn't exist. So what should you get? Typically, let's see. So it will try to find type one. So it will not get the value. See, the value is none. 
So you did you didn't get the value. So this is the pulse two. These are negative scenarios which we have discussed here. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.